I mean, they couldn't show restraint on the scale, the way no. he surfed the uh, opening section of that wave. Big clean conditions, and, and it gives him a real edge. But you've got to give credit to this rookie. And that will help him consolidate. There's still one more to come before that mid-year cut. As we see John Florence in heat seven getting things started up against Joao Chianca. And what a combination on the outside. Two monster turns to kick things off. Last time we were here at Bells, John was holding that big trophy and ringing it. He wants to get there again. We missed him last season. But what a way to kick things off. Can he get the finish? He does. You could see him making a, a, a huge jump here. He, he's got a huge task ahead of him, though. Oh, look at this surfing from John John Florence. Just laying into those huge turns. The second one in particular just puts a little bit more emphasis on it. Great rail transitions all the way through to the inside. I love how John just keeps that board flowing. Comes onto the inside section. Hits that foam. He's not done yet. Knows there's some more scoring opportunity. And the rookie is going to try and answer now. Joao Gianca. Such an exciting young talent. Already showed us great flair in the opening round. And how's that rail turn? Just holds it from the top right through to the trough. And still moving with plenty of speed at the moment. A great response against the two-time world champ and former Bells winner. Then Jalchenka slams on the brakes on the first turn, streaks back down the line. A nice carving turn. Held that one for longer. Comes off the bowl section. And again, gives us his version of some rail work all the way through to the inside. Showing some flair. Great exchange. Um, but last year, he, he only had a 13-point heat score total in the first round. After that, he went loony, 17.67, 18.16. Here goes Joao Chianca after just a, a low score to get into the lead at the moment. And this guy is so jacked up right now. <laughs> he is just throwing everything at this medium-sized set wave, knowing that he has to. If you're going to take off on medium-sized sets against John John, you, you better just surf out of your skin. Chianco, I don't think he'll hang on to that ride at the end of this heat, Rich, but you can see that he's on. Let's check the replay. Look at the energy already, the extension in the body. Slams up onto the lip, drives around again. I love this carve. Extending. Whenever you wrap that board all the way around from the top of the wave, you get the nose back into the foam section. It's what we call a roundhouse cutback. You know, if you're going to get John John, your best chance is probably in the earlier rounds before he really starts to gather some momentum. Uh, that first wave is, is a, I think, a, a bit scary for Joao. John's up again. Beautiful rail turn. Really took it high and now mixes it up, releasing the tail through that second manoeuvre. Big roundhouse cut back just before this wave starts to hit that, that deeper water. It will go again, though, and John's starting to get on that front foot, work this board, keep it pumping. Wants more points out of this inside where he has stomped some of the most impressive turns we've seen on some of those bigger years, and he's looking comfortable on the inside today. Beautiful surfing. Magnificent. And uh, for me, Ron, more variety on that wave. Right throughout. Here's the replay of this last ride. This is going to go high again. Oh, big wrap. And then watch this second turn. Brings it right around. And uh, just slides the fins ever so quickly, but always in control. And uh, one thing that John does really, really well is that hinging between the top half and the bottom half of his board. Uh, sorry, his body. Just watch the turn. Gets low. Gets on the heelside rail. High with the back arm. Now he brings it down low. That hits the accelerator. And then the second turn. Watch the upper and lower body. The upper body twisting around. The lower body follows. Really dynamic. Incredible surfing here from the former world champion. So finely tuned. Note perfect through his first two rides. Coming your way and, you know, probably none more exciting than the one we're watching right now. Just based on the, the pulse of this swell. The set's arriving, coming to the party. And Joao is up again. Nice big carve to get started. 
pushing that board to the point of release on the second maneuver. Great control. Two incredibly informed surfers battling it for a place in the round of 16. The youngster is chasing an 8.71 out of this ride to get in front. As he takes a, a high line before dropping low and looking for the finish on the inside. The wave was tricky to read, did very well to finish it off. Oh, I love this. This is a great exchange and uh, showing no signs of nerves. If anything, the complete opposite. He's just been given a little shot of adrenaline because uh, the way he's surfing right now, he wants to take it to John John Florence. He just looks so focused. But Joao Chianca is not giving it to him, that's for sure. No way. Have a look at this. Whack. Critical turn. And then this one here extends it. Gives John a piece of his own medicine and uh, emulates that layback hack in the pocket. Feeling it through the inside here. Bringing it all the way through to this final section. And uh, the legs are burning at that point. Nice and low on the bottom turn. Very similar approach. Just carving. Beautiful technique. Gets the fins free, throws the progression in. He gets this little bonus section, Ronnie, up under the lip. Again, throwing the back arm in, getting all that power through the tail pad, through the fins. But Joao stuffed those two turns into that ride. It was a beautiful speed carve into fin throw. And Jean Jean Florence forced to make a decision on this one, trying to get rid of a 7.6. To up the requirement again, this wave gets away from him. He's going to duck through the back of that one. Well, the rookie did the job then. He put his salesman hat on. He got John John onto that wave. The priority shift goes back to uh, Jao Chianka, and now he can focus in. Uh, John's had this unique ability to uh, translate what happens on a on a two to four foot wave into an eight to ten foot wave, and there's not many people that can bridge that gap. And and John is really paving a, a unique pathway in saying that hasn't had the huge breakthrough result that he, he probably expected in those opening three events. He's going after it here at Bells Beach though. Again, trying oh. to get rid of that 7.6 and giving it his all. So didn't have priority. Joao on the outside's not gonna take his ride through to the end. So we'll see what John can do on, on the finish with this one. But these guys, I have a feeling, are, are going to be throwing away good numbers that potentially could have won other heats at the end of this exchange. There's still 15 minutes to go, Rich. Settle down. Probably is aware that there will be a, a fight back at some point here. Yeah, John takes off, just jams that first turn. Critical surfing here, another one. But it's this third one here. Grinds it all the way around and then flicks the tail out as well. Driving it straight back into that power source. Oh, here we go. Chianka up now. Still looking for the 787, but that score from John John on that previous ride is yet to drop in. Chianka's got a nice steep section. This guy is surfing so fast at the moment through transition. Plenty of spark in this equipment, making a, an equipment change to what he rode in that opening round where he performed so well. And you've got to say, the equipment choice has been spot on. He's just looked electric out there today. Absolutely incredible. This is great to see the rookie stepping up here and really taking it to John John Florence, who would be, in these conditions, uh, one of the clear favourites. And, uh, well, John John's on. Uh, had big wave uh, XXL awards as well. He'd be so proud of what he's seeing from his baby brother here. Yeah, this is great surfing and uh, just a little caught up on that under the lip snap and dragging through that uh, that third turn as well. But that one there, that was clean. That was four turns on the bowl. So as this tide is starting to drain out, Ron, we're getting more opportunity. We're getting that three and four turn connection through the bowl. Wow, just uh, great, great energy. Surfing. Yep, good surfing, solid, unrestricted. Beautiful technique there. I love how he extends that back leg towards the uh, the latter half of these turns. And again, as we've seen so many of our power surfers dropping that back arm.
just get a little caught up on that third turn and they're the little finer details that are going to separate uh, Jow and John John's technique here. That was a great turn, nice and clean. Yeah, the little trip up maybe on the previous move was all but forgotten when he ripped through that manoeuvre. Dabbed it into the face to get it back around without losing any speed. Super impressive. Zhao Chianka has a big number on the way. And the way he attacked that last ride, he's going to get close to the number. On the outside, though, Florence with a big section. Big transition snap there. Climbs the roof. Great lip line float to project back out onto the open face. Now goes to that trademark layback that just possesses so much power. And he gives it a couple of versions of that same turn. He was trying to up the ante on his previous ride, had a 7-5, didn't quite do it. That one will. He almost got the required score. Let's have a look at the replay of John's wave. Oh, well, John's picked up the biggest wave the entire day, up under the lip, somehow projects out onto the open face. Again, the trademark layback hack. And have a look at this thing to finish off the biggest section of the day. And when John John Florence reacts like that after a wave, you know that he is absolutely stoked with what's going on. And this man who's normally not phased, he's starting to show the emotion. Look at the commitment to this turn. This is just textbook Bell's, Bell's ball surfing here. Up under the lip, projects out. Timing could be off by a millisecond and he wouldn't have made that turn. Drives around this section. Watch the back arm, throws it in there. Jams through it, keeps the rail engaged. John John Florence, you know, if I was going to make a comparison to uh, a previous CT surfer, he kind of reminds me of Taj Burrow. If Taj got that excellent score on his opening ride, he'd just go on an absolute tear. He was a real momentum surfer. John John Florence has that, that similar thing. You know, if he gets going early, you're in so much trouble. Here we go. He's going to fight back. Well, he needs to, and this wave has to count. He has to go excellent with this one. Swings the tail around, needs to break combination on this wave. Couple of big turns to start, huge layback. So much speed exiting that turn. He climbs up into the pocket one oh. more time. He had to stuff that extra turn in. He's chasing huge numbers just to better himself. For the year, Rich, he said he just wants to overcome the expectations that he has uh, from people. He's doing that. I mean, his performances are legendary. Yeah, this sort of surfing is... Uh you know, this is what we see from the best. This is what we see from the top five contenders. And unfortunately, just a little slip up there, but that just, that's just coming from him giving 110%. And, uh, well, look at that, just losing the fins, regaining composure there, and perhaps he just put his back foot off a little bit. And uh, just great technique here, throwing fans into the sky. He's just not content with put theirs, uh, no. with his snaps. He, he adds the extras. I just love how high he's been taking his calves. He's in a position where he has to force a couple more turns in on that outside if he's going to break combination here. Yeah, well, both these surfers are just filleting these waves here. And, uh, you know, they've made Shishimi out of the Bills Bowl because they've just been slicing these waves to absolute pieces. And <laughs> even with the fall run, he's dropped a good number. Well, this is massive. You know, you look at the performances. He's done this already this season, had those magic performances, but not gone on to the win. He, he's, he can't be complacent. This guy's hitting a different gear now. After a 9.64, Zhao Chianka, beautiful cut down and absolutely oh. attacking that section. And you can see that wave starting to fade away in the deep water. So, again, he had to force the issue. But that first turn was nuts. But, uh, you know, when, when you're charges out there you, you don't want to see oh. guys starting their rides like this this is just such good surfing for those of you viewing this at home go back and watch this heat again and again and again and pick up on just how good these guys uh, are surfing and using their rail this is this is uh you know no nonsense power surfing at its best we've seen a, a lot of incredible heats this year but i, I think these two guys have, have featured in two of them uh, this has been super impressive. Uh, coach to many of the uh, the guys on tour here. Smaller inside wave run. I don't think this has nine written on it. No, nah, this is uh, 
You know, a wave that probably he yeah. took off thinking... He should be applauding if I, himself. If I get a, an air section, I might have a chance, but that one just faded away. But what a heat, Rich. That was all time. Yeah, that was uh, that was spectacular. He was dropping a 7.6 and a 7.5. Florence kicked off with the, the 8.93. But, you know, if you get the biggest wave or the best wave of a heat, Rich, is there... A pressure and anxiety that comes with performing <laughs> there is. and executing on that wave and giving it everything it has.